Hello, and welcome to a Dark Regions Press unboxing that is actually a Suntup unboxing, courtesy of Dark Regions Press. So this, my friends, uh, should contain the artist edition of Dark Matter by Blake Crouch and The Outsiders by Essie Hinton. I had purchased them as part of a bundle through Dark Regions Press, and I feel like this one included a third book. I bought two bundles from them, so uh, Suntuff has been really rocking. Look at, first of all, look, let's admire how much bubble wrap this is. This is insane. I'm going to tell you my story as I unwrap, very loudly unwrap, 30 layers of bubble wrap from my book. So Suntuff has been steadily releasing a book a month for years now. They've just been kicking ass. And uh, it's been quite painful on the wallet. So uh, I had to get off the numbered train. But I said, you know, I'm going to buy all the artist editions while I can. <clears throat> so, uh, well, I'm poor still. But Dark Regions Press covers a lot of Suntup artist editions. And every so often, they have some pretty cool sales. Including a 50% off sale, which actually worked on some Suntub bundles. So, long story short, I bought some Suntub artist bundles through Dark Regions Press, and one of them has arrived here. I'm also getting uh, Hannibal through Dark Regions Press. I'm getting the artist edition of Animal Farm, and I feel like there was one more title included, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. So anyways, uh, here is The Outsiders by Essie Hinton and Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Uh, Essie Hinton uh, celebrating its 50th anniversary, right? 50th? Or is it just happened to be included material from the 50th anniversary? I'm not sure. I cannot recall. Anyways, let's start with uh, The Outsiders because it's right here. Even though this is technically the newer of the two titles, this one was only just a few months back. This one had a really quick turnaround time. And I am very impressed. So this has illustrations by Jeff Echevarria. A very nice, sturdy slipcase. It's kind of caving in on itself a little bit for its own good, but it's sturdy. The Outsiders. Jeff's illustrations there of Pony Boy. And uh, poor little knife. A little switchblade that's going to get him in some trouble. And oh, there's the switchblade again. So, very sturdy dust jacket there. Oh, there's the fire at the church. Uh, very poignant novel. Read it when I was in high school, maybe. Stuck with me ever since. You gotta stay gold, my friends. Stay gold. So, stamped in the cover, the switchblade knife. This is a story about some greasers. They all got their fun little nicknames. Including Pony Boy, who's the main character. He's trying to stay gold. Uh, this is not the 50th anniversary, because the copyright was 67, so 50, uh, 55th anniversary. Happy 55th anniversary from, uh, yeah, here's the note from the 50th anniversary from S.E. Hinton. Jumps right into the novel itself. Very short novel. Got some illustrations throughout Jeff, from Jeff uh, Esavaria, Esavaria. Pony boy. Very, uh, very sad story. Aw. Very, uh, that's, uh, Ralph Macchio. Can't remember the character's name, but, yeah. Daly? Daly was that character's name? Pony Boy? Uh, anyways, a lot of archival material in the back, including the original submission letter from the agent. Agent's response to Hinton. Uh, she wrote this when she was 15 years old, like 15 through 17, so she had to have somebody co-sign with her on the contract. That's just crazy. Essie Hinton photos there, very young Essie Hinton. So, you know, it's celebrating its 55th anniversary, and she's still a very young woman. Uh, there we go, Jess Eche Jeff Echevarria's signature on the back. Um, it does not come signed by Essie Hinton, but the numbered edition, which I believe is still available... Uh, does come signed by S.E. Hinton. Or, if you're like me, 
and you don't want to swing for the numbered edition because there are just too many other editions coming out. You can go out and pick yourself up a signed hardcover like this. This was, uh, you know, S.E. Hinton, The Outsiders. This one has, you know, just trade edition, nothing too fancy. Signed by S.E. Hinton. Uh, this one, curiously enough, does actually have supplemental material in the back. Uh, this is the 50th anniversary edition, which does actually have like those agreements and those very same photos in the back. So I guess supposedly, I mean, you, I don't want to pull you away from, hey, that's the copy I read right there. I don't want to pull you away from the Suntup edition because you're going to get a much better, uh, much bigger and much better produced book than the 50th anniversary edition. But you could technically see the supplements in the 50th anniversary edition. Or the one that I've had for several years was this edition right here, which I couldn't help but pick up because she signed this one with Stay Gold. I mean, you're, yeah, she writes Stay Gold in your book. You're obligated to pick it up. Anyways, that, my friends, is The Outsiders. Now, including your bookmark here, now let's dive right into Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, a contemporary novel from Suntup. So Suntup doesn't do a lot of contemporary novels. They're getting more and more contemporary with, uh, I mean, Zombie by Joyce Carol Oates is 30 years old. That's pretty contemporary. They're doing Hannibal, Hannibal Rising. Uh, I do know that the slipcases kind of have these little pock marks in it. I've seen pictures of it. The spine on this one doesn't look too bad. Some people had very, very messed up spines. Um, the front looks great. Anyways, uh, this is the most contemporary novel they've done. Uh, I suppose uh, Biblio Mysteries is technically contemporary because it was a new publication. But as far as like actual novel novels go, uh, other than Anya Alborn, I would say Dark Matter here is the most contemporary. Dark Matter is a story of a physicist who winds up... Look at Blake Crouch. Look how young he looks. A physicist who winds up in an alternate dimension where his wife doesn't know him, his kid doesn't exist, um, and he's fighting to get back to his own dimension. If you're thinking, man, that sounds a lot like Flow My Tears, the policeman said by Philip K. Dick, you are right. It does sound a lot like that. But this is different, though. That one is about a celebrity who crosses dimensions. This one's an actual uh, scientist who crosses dimensions. This one has illustrations by Hilary Clark, uh, introduction by Andy Weir of the Martian fame. Uh, this is another one from this year. I think this was February's title or March's title. This was uh, March, I believe. Uh, and I actually have the number edition coming because I needed to get back on the train to get the April title, which is Hannibal. Uh, meanwhile, the most recent title uh, was Hannibal Rising. Had no difficulty getting that the morning of because I was off the number train. So hopefully I can get a matching copy for that and complete my Thomas Harris set. If I can't, I'm going to be a little sad, but I'm going to give it a shot. Fighting chance. Uh, so anyways, it's a good novel. I read this a few years back. Uh, very, very high-octane novel. I know the fonts are supposed to change. I heard that they said the fonts were changing from dimension to dimension. One was going to be with serifs. Yep, there you go. One with serifs. You can kind of see the serif on the Y there. And the one with... Minimal serifs? It's not really, it's not like sans serifs, but slightly different font as you go through the dimensions. Or I'm hallucinating, who knows? And there's Hillary Clark's signature in the back. Very, very nice. Copies of this are still available, I think, in both the numbered and the artist edition. And uh, I know the artist edition and numbered edition are both still available for the outsiders. And there are plenty of other editions out there as well. Let's put the dust jacket back on this, huh? Uh, the most recent announcement just came out where the quarter one of 2023, January, is going to be The Magus by John Fowles, the guy who did The Collector. Uh, February is going to be The Godfather, Mario Puzo. And March is going to be Edgar Allan Poe, complete works, perhaps? Uh, anyways, copies of these are both still available through Suntup as well as possibly through Dark Regents Press. Uh, you should definitely support Suntup direct, but... If you do want to check out the secondary market, sometimes you can get a good deal, like on Dark Regions Press here, where I got 50% off. I can't complain. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you around next time.